what's up guys, it's Sackshot2000 here, updated top 5 over a roll because I have written countdown the last one. Um, let's see, I have written two of those closer since then, and I realized that, uh, maybe they are over it, but they, I don't think they belong top 5, I especially don't think they belong number 1, I know I pissed a lot of people off, so that video is gone for good, and, yep, this will be a new, fresh one. And, uh, let's see, uh, Nitro went from number 1 to not being on the list at all, hmm. Interesting, we're not exceptionally good last week, that was quite why. And because every other time I got stapled before that, so yeah, that definitely had a big impact. The King of Ka is getting Um, it was getting it was rough at the beginning of the season. This time was only rough in the same spot all those green train in the back. Every other thing, every other about well, I was smooth though. And so yeah, Bob, I would probably be that Nitro will probably be number six and King of Ka will probably be at number seven. But now I'll really have to make a countdown. Number five, Hydra at Dorney. Um, besides Jojo, I think it's a lame ride. Straight down drop is cool. And all, but besides that, um, I think it's a pretty boring ride. Honestly, I... I definitely think it's the best floor I've been on. I thought, um... Probably bizarre my best floor I've been on. Batman and Dark Knight was mediocre. I actually did go on the African mention on the vlog, but I thought that was mediocre. About on par with this, but... You know what comes out like the best floors on in the world, so I don't consider it overrated. This, however... Yeah, George Roll beginning school and the rest of the ride, I just, I don't know, it, it, I felt a lot of rattles and it was just not, it wasn't particularly the best. I I, I wasn't crazy about it. Number four, Alpengeist. That was going to win broken now. Um, it's a ride that um, I don't hate, but it gives you some whiplash actually seeing it's BNM, which is really sad. This might be the roughest non-stand-up BNM I've been on, or one of them. Hydro was actually quite rough too for being I was disappointed. But in this one, the Cobra roll was pretty bad actually. The rest of the inversions were eh. Corkscrew was bad. Uh, the zero zero was okay. But uh, yeah, it's it's it, it, yeah, it's rough for being him. I mean, I would rather ride this than a stand. Rather ride this than what's number one on this list. I would rather ride this than uh, there are a lot of closer. I would rather ride this than that. But, but regardless, this is not a great ride. Number three. Inc this was an incredibly big disappointment. I expected to love this, and I, on the ride, I was nearly sleeping. Fahrenheit at Hershey. Yep, I only, on the, the sad thing is, I only waited about a half hour line for this, and I still did not think it was worth it. You know, I'm a patient guy, so. Yeah, but this was a boring, boring ride. Like, I was near sleeping most of it. It was not, I mean, though. 97 we dropped, I I never been on a Beyond Vertical Drop Board, so I was really excited for that, but it left me very disappointed. It was over so quick. Drop, and then the rest of the ride is, mm, felt slow, felt forceless, and yeah, I mean, I think all the solar trains probably had to do with it. I got some headbanging on the Cobra, but not much, but regardless, it's not, it was boring, it felt slow, it didn't feel intense at all, it felt very forceless, it, yeah, I'd want my cup of tea. Number two, now this is something that the more I ride it, the more I realize how overrated I think it is. The more I re the more I realize how not crazy bad I am. Number two is the Joker, and the one at New England particularly sucked. I I just I only rolled that once. I got I think it was on the green side. Really bad ride. I got a really bad ride. I got one flip only. The rest were like they'll tilt. It's not even half a flip. So yeah, that was a big big disappointment. Great Adventures, um, it depends. Sometimes you get good rides, sometimes you don't. This year has been doing okay. One of the main reasons I ride it is because, you know, if I'm with a friend that wants to ride, I'll ride it. And if Leo is operating, I actually became some of friends then. I'm not going to say last name, though. But, yeah, he he's part of the reason why I ride it. Otherwise, nah, it's not. It's definitely something I can go visit without. It's... In my opinion, it's kind of a boring ride. If you, even if you do get a lot of flips, it, it's not... It's not intense. I don't think it is, anyway. Um, I mean, the first time I went on it, I came off really surprised through my first ever one of those, and then now I realize, eh, it's not that great. And I doubt any of the other models are different. I doubt that in Batman, uh, yes, Texas is any different. And uh, maybe in the Joker at New England, I was expecting to enjoy that, actually, because it was newer, but... Nope, I got probably one of the worst rides you can get on a Joker. I was heavily disappointed. Number two, er, number one, 
Now, this is one that I haven't heard anyone say I love, but other than everything to be in me, I've never heard anyone say they hate, and that would be Goliath from New England. Only giant and bird boomerang I've been on, and from one I experience on this one, I don't plan to go on another one. It was bad. And no, uh, assigned seating sucks. They put me and Avery when we went, put us in row six. The worst row on any roller coaster, like hands down. Except King of Ka is the worst in the back, but you know what I mean. Mill is usually worse on any ride. But, what a painful ride. It was uh, very rough from start to finish. Um, like the vertical drops, like, that beat you up bad. And so the Cobra backwards was near unbearable. And, uh, I'm actually, they stapled me in really hard on this, so I had a painful ride pretty much everywhere around my whole body. So there's headache even hurt my ears a bit. It was a not it was not a pleasant ride at all. And uh operations on this really suck too. But it only runs one train it's a backwards coaster, what do you expect? But regardless, it's a crappy ride. I, I did not like it at all. I don't get how those people enjoy this, I really don't. And uh maybe they like being thrown around like a I don't understand how I can enjoy being thrown out like a football the whole ride, but some people do. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, bad ride out. Yeah, that's that week's number one. So, uh, yep. I mean, if you do like the ride, I respect that, but at the same time, uh, as you could tell, I just happened to get probably one of the worst rides to get a regard on a coaster on this. I, I, yep, I did ride Flight Deck. Very, 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 very bad, too. And I did not expect this to be worse, though, but it was. Just by a little bit. So, yep, that makes number one very overrated. Not good at all. And, uh, yeah. But that being said, I'm going with the new trains, and I old. Eh, it was probably still the same rough, crappy ride. So.